My name is Abby Koffenberg and I teach at a middle school in St. Paul, Title I. We have 600-ish kids. My name is Erin Antone and I am a school counselor at a small school in St. Paul. It's a private Catholic school. I'm lucky because I can pop in and out of the classroom and get those breaks, whereas teachers are all day with all the kids. And that can be a real blessing, but it's also really challenging. Um, we're seeing a lot more anxiety in the last couple, three years, probably since COVID. The expectations for what teachers accomplish in a day is just really without limits, it seems. <laughs> Um, my name is Kate Lagas, and um, I teach third grade. Uh, my name is Brianna Whistler. I also teach at Lily Lake Elementary. I teach first grade. I have so much joy being an educator. I absolutely love my job. I also have some really hard days, and there's, there's a lot of big challenges that come with it, as with any job. But I'd say like the biggest joys are you know seeing the students light up, seeing their smiles every morning, giving them hugs, making them feel loved. What I really enjoy is to see the growth that they make throughout that school year. You get to know them when they are first entering your grade and you think about all the things that they're coming in with and then where you get to take them by the end of the school year. And there's some days where it feels like, how are we gonna get there? As a middle school teacher right now, just like the social anxiety that students are experiencing is really challenging. They have panic attacks just like having to switch seats because of maybe I don't know who I'm going to be sitting next to. In middle school, these students are the students who went home for distance learning their fourth grade year, so they missed some like pivotal socialization. I, I just didn't expect it to still be such a problem right now. And there's also those challenges like every single student in my room, like I can think of something that they're, they're walking through, that they're going through, and feeling um, a lack of capacity in the ability to meet all of those needs. And I just can't change their circumstances, and that's really hard. I think people who work in education will see that sometimes the really good teachers end up getting um, more challenging kids because they're good teachers and it becomes this circular situation. Adopt an Educator is a way for um, the, kind of the church and the school to partner. People, couples or individuals that shepherd coming alongside educators and a chosen partner of that educator um, to just pray for them, support them and bless them so that they know that they have support um, from the Shepherd community. It's not an attempt to bring people into Shepherd or to pull members from other churches, because my partner has a church. Um, and she just really appreciated that and just really thought it was cool that our church is doing this. My coworker and I just have been really blessed by our adoptive couple. They've just gone above and beyond, and it's just been really powerful to see how much they're investing in us um, from some gift cards for coffee, which is always good for um, educators. We have a, a food and clothing drive in the winter, and our students do it, and they donated to that, so that was just really unexpected and kind. I chose my Adopt an Educator partner, Jenny. She is at a school in our district that's really hard. It's 100% free and reduced lunch, high percentage of students who are homeless in an area of our district that is not safe and um, every time she's had the opportunity to move she's chosen to stay with her students. When I told her about Adopt an Educator she was so excited to be a part of the program. I've felt so um, like covered in prayer and um, like Rose, sweet sweet Rose Stiff. I didn't know Rose before we got paired up and we've gone to the same church for many years. And so to have that connection get built was something that I really cherish. Like Kate said, my educator has gone above and beyond. Mary comes in every Monday and now I look forward to Mondays because I get to know that she's coming in, she's supporting um, my students and I. And so it's made Mondays just a joy to look forward to. It just is another way that Shepherd shows that they care about the educators.